If you're a photographer looking to make a bit more money, you've probably been tempted, at least at some point, to go into stock photography. Maybe you were hoping to be able to do something with the hundreds of unused photos lurking about on various hard drives. Or maybe the idea of having someone else sell your photos was appealing. Or perhaps you've seen a number of stock photos and said to yourself, I could do better than that. The first thing I have to tell you is it's not quite so easy. Not impossible, the way some blogs and longtime stock photographers would make it sound, but not quite a walk in the park either, at least for most people. The web is full of comments like, don't quit your day job, side by side with, I make thousands of dollars a month in stock photography, and you can too. Which is true. Well, arguments can be made for both. Can you just upload all your photos that are just taking up space on your hard drives and make money? Probably not. Unless those photos are over the moon fantastic and meet the current needs of today's stock photography buyers. If you're serious about learning how to make money with pictures, you need to learn the art of making the stock photography business work for you. The competition is fierce, but it's possible to generate a realistic income from stock photography. So once you've dialed in your photography pricing for your core business, watch the full video to find out how to make some cash on the side by selling stock photos. Stock photography is simply a term for generic imagery that buyers use for the visual content in everything from news stories, blogs, and websites, to design materials for ads or promotional materials. It's much cheaper than hiring a photographer and is generally sold through a platform that specializes in keeping a large library full of such images so that buyers have a number of different options to choose from. At this point, you must be thinking what are stock pictures and how are they different from commercial photography for a client. Think of stock pictures as the opposite of custom-made photographs, which are licensed directly to a client, depending on copyright status, and are original works created specifically for that client's purpose. For example, if I needed a high-quality image of a happy family eating dinner together, hiring a photographer to find all of the models and put together together the food, props, and lighting would be quite expensive. It would be far easier and cheaper to find one on a stock photography site and pay anywhere from a few cents to a few dollars. There are three types of stock photography, but most people focus on macro stock and micro stock. Macro stock photography, also known as traditional stock photography, refers to agencies that sell high-priced and exclusive images. These agencies license the individual images directly to the client and sell the images for between $30 to $3,000 a year. The photographer then gets royalties. The most well-known macro stock agency at the moment is Getty Images, but any company that sells RM, or rights-managed, images qualifies. Microtok, on the other hand, sells images for much less, usually from around $0.20 cents to $10, and on a royalty-free basis. The photographers get get no royalties, but get paid per image download instead, usually at the end of each month. Companies such as Shutterstock, iStock, Deposit Photos, and Dreamstime are all well-established microstock agencies. Basically, if you're creative and really want to make money through photography, stock photography can be a great way to make some additional income. However, learning how to sell stock photos is complex if you want to be successful and earn a decent income from sales. Now, you may ask, is selling stock photos profitable? Yes. Making money from stock photos is possible. While there are plenty of stock photographers who make a decent living, there are easily as many more who do not. Things have changed dramatically in the 15 or more years microstock has been available. In the early days, it used to be much easier to earn enough income to live off. There weren't as many images out there, and the market wasn't saturated with photographers. These days, however, the industry's matured and the supply of images is vastly outpacing demand. Shutterstock alone now has over 225 million images with over 1 million more added every week. This means that to succeed, contributors have to work harder and smarter than they did, say, 15 years ago when Microstock was just starting. The good news is that, while you might not make a full-time living off it, it's generally not too difficult to get up to a place of earning a few hundred dollars a month. It'll take a while, unless you're incredibly lucky, and you'll need to upload a lot of images, but with a bit of perseverance and dedication, $200 to $500 a month is definitely doable. Wondering how to make money selling JPEGs? Unsure how much can you make selling stock photos? On his blog MyStockPhoto.com, photographer Alexander Rotenberg writes that to earn a $500 per month passive income, you'll need to have uploaded at least 6,000 images. This assumes that you're uploading high-quality commercial images of a variety of subjects within your niche, 
and that everything's been keyword correctly. How long does it take to upload 6,000 high-quality non-similar images? Well, if you work full-time and have a family, 200 images a month will probably be a bit much. With focus, you could probably manage 100 images a month. 50 is certainly quite doable. Less than that, and this probably isn't the line of work for you. At 100 images a month, it would take you five years to reach Rotenberg's 6,000 images mark, which he goes on to state is a minimum. If you increase the value of your images by including models with model releases and or really push your niche, you could probably do it in just under three years. I know photographers who've managed to get $200 to $300 passive income in just two years. Either way, it's not a get-rich-quickly scheme. Stock photography income takes a while to be sustainable. Most photographers will need at least three years to get to that level, and if you're a busy bee, you'll need the full five. Of course, there are some photographers who get lucky in that their niche happens to be in wide demand, or they're traveling all the time, and can take amazing images of places that haven't yet been blown out of the market. In general though, expect a long haul before you can get up to a substantial income. The truth is, many would-be contributors quit within the first six months. The reasons are many, but usually come down to the fact that they didn't see enough of a return during those first few months. It's not easy to sell stock photography. Often this is due to image quality, but not always. There's also the issue that you're competing against thousands of other contributors and 15 years of stock already on the table. Add to the fact that it really takes dedication to upload 100 images per month, all correctly keyword, especially if you do it by hand as I did when I first started. So you've decided to go for it. You've registered with one or more stock agencies, and you're ready to begin shooting stock photography. What should you start with? If you check with the various sites that report on stock photo sales, you'll notice that there's not just one kind of photo that sells, luckily for us. That was the end of today's video. Let me know in the comments if you want anything. Thanks for your support. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care.